The system is composed of two parts. A nail inserted into the medullary canal in a narrow configuration. Once in position, it is expanded and adapts to the inner surface of the bone medulla. An expandable hip peg inflated within the femoral head. Longitudinal bars along its expanded distal part provide excellent fixation within the femoral head spongiosa. A hip pin is available and may be inserted according to the physician's discretion. Indications. Fixation of pertrochanteric, intertrochanteric and subtrochanteric fractures with or without diaphyseal fractures. The expandable Fiction PF nail has a proximal end diameter of 14 millimeters. Both short and long nail lengths are available. The femoral neck shaft angle is of 125, 130 or 135 degrees. A nail cap is available in several lengths as well. The dynamic and cannulated hip peg has an oval shaped stem to increase rotation resistance and a distal part expanded within the femoral head spongiosa. This expansion leads to compaction of the surrounding trabecular cancellous bone and together with the peg longitudinal bars enhances the bone's grip. A built-in locking mechanism to limit the peg movement is available. A non-cannulated peg is also available. The system accessories include an instrument set for insertion and removal of the implantable components and an inflation device. The nail insertion handle through which the peg is introduced is radiolucent. The pump is designed to deliver saline to the nail and to the peg in order to expand them. The pressure gauge on the pump allows controlled inflation. Procedure. The fractures are reduced and an entry hole is perforated via the greater trochanter using an awl. The nail is gently inserted. Under fluoroscopy, the K-wire is inserted through sleeves into the femoral head to fixate the reduced fractures. An entry hole of 8 mm diameter is drilled through the nail with a designated cannulated drill for insertion of the peg into the femoral head. The drilling depth is determined by a scale located on the drill bit as well as by x-rays. Optional enlargement of the hole to 10 mm is performed in the bone cortex only. An additional assessment of the required peg length can be performed using the dummy peg. The cannulated hip peg is connected to the peg insertion handle and inserted through the guide sleeve into the femoral head. The pump is filled with saline solution and air is removed from the system. The pump is connected to the nail through the inflation adapter the nail is expanded under controlled pressure to 50 bar and adapts to the inner surface of the bone medulla along its entire length. If required, the pressure is elevated up to 70 bar. The same pump is connected now to the peg insertion handle. The peg distal part is inflated within the femoral head. The peg dynamization can be limited using a dedicated screwdriver which is inserted through the nail proximal end. If required, an entry hole is drilled for the 5 mm hip pin and the hip pin is inserted using a designated screwdriver. A nail cap with a length that conforms to the superior surface of the femur entry hole is inserted. These are the x-rays of a patient treated with a Fiction PF nailing system.
In case removal of the nail and peg is required, the nail cap is removed using a screwdriver and peg unlocking is performed. The peg is then removed by rotating the peg removal handle, followed by the removal of the hip pin. The nail is removed utilizing the removal adapter and the slide hammer. Advantages of the nail. Minimally invasive. Small diameter during insertion. Easy insertion and removal. Reaming is optional. No distal interlocking screws are required. No three-point fixation mechanism. Nail adapts to the inner surface of the medullary canal. Homogeneous distribution of forces within the femoral medullary canal. Insertion via greater trochanter. Reduced fluoroscopy time. Reduced OR and recovery time. Reduced inventory. Advantages of the hip peg. Minimally invasive, reduced bone trauma. 8 mm diameter during insertion. 12 mm diameter when expanded. The peg is gently inserted without torsion move. Peg expansion leads to cancellous bone compaction, which together with the longitudinal bars enhance the bone's grip. Dynamic hip peg. Peg dynamization is limited according to position discretion.